This will be a one-of-a-kind Fondopen review. We are going to review one epic running instrument, the Monte Grappa Viking, price point 15,000 euros. Welcome to the channel again. Pen friends everywhere, thank you for tuning in. It is time to review one very, very controversial riding instrument, Monte Grappa Viking. I took my jewelry gloves, so I don't want to damage anything. I will show you how does it look. Although we are not going to have a riding sample because I don't want to spoil the experience for the future owner of this fondo pen, I'm going to show you all of the details and I will share some opinion at the end of the video regarding this riding instrument. I I like to start in my reviews with the unboxing experience, but this time because of the huge, huge box in which this fun pen is delivered, I will skip that. I have a video, I'm going to link it up here. I already unbox the fun pen in a YouTube video on my channel. You can check the video up here and you will get the full experience of unboxing. I took out the stand for the pen because this has a very, very large stand. This is the stand for the Viking. We have this boat which the Vikings named Drakkar and this is specific to the Viking people, the shape of the boat. This is what they used in their trading and also in their raiding because they were raiders. I will show you how everything can be assembled. This is where, let's say, the cap of the fountain pen sits. This is where the fountain pen is going to sit. And also we do have a stand for a broad sword. And this is a very, very nice accessory. I will show you later in the video. Also, right here in the middle of the boat, we find the empty space in which you will find this leather sleeve. Let's put everything aside. This is the booklet that comes with the fountain pen. This is a very, very nice booklet and the paper is very good quality. With a price point of 15,000 euros, you will expect the best in regards of the items that come with the founder pen. In this booklet you will find a lot of information regarding the Vikings, the Norse mythology and also a care guide and instructions. Also you will have the warranty at the end of this booklet. The Warrior series from Monte Grappa is, I believe, at the second edition. The first one we had the Samurai and this is the second edition. Before going into the details of this fountain pen, I would like to share some information regarding the Vikings and I'm going to read from the booklet. They were intrepid explorers and the scourge of the lands they invaded, brave beyond measures and with influence still being felt today. Vikings helped shape the modern world into matters ranging from commerce to colonization. Seafarers with legendary skills, the Scandinavian tribes flourished between the 8th and the 11th century, raiding and trading through the northern Europe across the Atlantic. For Monte Grappa, the Viking is the natural candidate for a dedicated riding instrument in the Warrior series. Listen closely, this is very important. Shrouded in myth, their saga is a mix of hard facts and alluring fantasy. Surviving artifacts tell their tale, which has been exaggerated by storytellers and filmmakers, mixing the historical events with legendary and mythology of the gods and the larger-than-life heroes. This is very important because, as you can probably see, this is not your time correctly interpretation of the Viking. Monte Grappa did a very good job because they put everything into a melting pot and this is what we call today Viking. If I show this item to a person today, probably 99% it will be identified as a Viking. Why? Because we have the image from movies, from uh, tales and novels. Let's start with the details. This is a very, very heavy fountain pen and it's made out of silver, sterling silver. All parts are made from silver. And we do have this fierce image of the warrior with this very, very serious look and the beard and everything is made out of silver, but this part, the hair, this 
straps that are present on the forearms. Also the boots right here. Those are plated in gold, rose gold. And we have on the wings from the helmet. I believe this is enamel or at least paint. Moving forward, we have this uh, armor on the chest of the warrior. The hands come out with some straps and we find very, very small details from uh, the manufacturing process of this writing instrument and that is lost wax cast, meaning that each individual part is poured into a cast which is made out of plaster if I'm not mistaken. Then each individual part is worked by hand brought to this very very realistic appearance. Moving forward we have a huge belt holding on the middle the chest of the warrior. Then we have this armor plates that are hinged and they can be individually moved. Then we have this kilt which is made out of uh, riveted leather in the real one. This one features leather, real leather. Then it is painted this small dots which is a very realistic interpretation of what a Viking wore into combat or into battle. Let's move further and let's uncap the pan because the upper body of the warrior it's supposed to be the cap of the fond pan and only by twisting the lower part of the body like this we are going to uncap the fond pan. We are greeted by the huge size 8 18 karat gold nib from Montegrappa, laser engraved with the logo of Montegrappa and the symbol that you find on this belt. Moving forward we have a ebonite feed so the nib should keep up in regards of the flow very very well. The section of the Montegrappa Viking is very very nicely engraved with two distinct motifs. They are mirroring, one is facing the feed and one is facing the nib and that symbol is Thor's hammer and it is something very very nicely engraved. There is a lot of details. Moving forward we have this part right here which features this two pins that are going to cap the fond band and keep it very very securely attached to the upper body of the warrior. Moving forward we have the lower part of the body for the warrior. First of all we start with this beautiful beautiful belt that holds the broad sword and the symbol on the buckle is the same as the one that's on the chest of the warrior and also which is engraved on the nib. The broad sword is stunning. There is a lot of details as well in the lower part of the body for the warrior. The sword has two notches which indicates that it's been used into combat and Vikings are well known for their uh, mythological skills to say so and there is a lot of uh, mystery behind their broadswords uh, especially the ones that were founded recently and they are all marked with the engraving or at least uh, something that has been etched into them Wolfbird. They feature some of the highest grade steel that hasn't been seen for many many years after the Vikings so there is a lot of mystery who produce such weapons that are ahead of their time. But let's get back to the Viking and we have this kilt that's going down and features a lot of details. I'm going to rotate the fond band so you guys can pick all of them up. Lower we have the legs of the warrior which are featuring very very nicely ornated boots. Those boots have two dragons on both sides. Very interesting. Actually the sole of those boots is gold plated and we have the number of the limited edition. And the number of the limited edition is 020 of 1 21. So we have 121 
Fondle Pants. It is a limited edition. I almost forgot about the sword. This is a very, very interesting item. This is a letter opener shaped like a broad sword, which the Viking used. It is made out of sterling silver. It comes with this small leatherette holder. And also you have a stand. You can place this on your desk or you can put it in the hands of the Viking and you can turn the hands like this and you can put the sword like this. Now I think it's time to see what is the filling system of this fondle pan. You can access the filling system very very simply. You need to hold the upper body and you need to pull out the legs and we have a very very simple uh, filling system which I think is a syringe type filler. There is a spring and you need to dip the fondant pan in ink then you press on and you remove the air from the barrel and once you let it go the spring brings it up and it's going to be full of ink. Well let's put everything back together and I'm going to show you that if you bring these two pieces together, they are going to come together seamlessly. So there is no difference. You cannot spot where the upper body is going to end. They come together very, very nicely. Well, now I think it's time to go into a size comparison. Let's put this fun pen side by side with other models. And this is something that I usually do to everything that I review on the channel. This time you will have a surprise because I have put this fondant pan side by side with fondant pans that I consider worthy to stay side by side with this one. Usually after the size comparison we would have a running sample but this time and on this fondant pan it's on loan from Monte Grappa so I don't want to spoil the experience for the future owner of this font pen. So he will do the honors. Here is the Monte Grappa Viking standing next to other pen models. From left to right we have Classic Pens LB5, Armando Simoni Club Bologna Extra in Arco Bronze, Monte Grappa Viking, Visconti Opera Master Crimson Tide and Visconti Speak Easy. Let's have some measurements for the font pen. Cap this font pen measures 170 millimeters, uncapped 153 millimeters. The total weight of the fondant is 353 grams cap and 150 grams uncapped. And now opinions regarding the Monte Grappa Viking. First of all, I would like to say that this writing instrument created a lot of controversy when I released the initial video of the unboxing experience and I want you guys to have a broader understanding of what does go into creating such a writing instrument. Of course, you can write with this fondant pen, but I don't think it was intended to be used as a daily writer, or at least a writer, because it is highly impractical, it is very heavy. You can, for example, try to write with it, but you will find that it's very heavy, back heavy. What I think this font pen is something in between art, which of course by definition art has no purpose other than itself, its existence, and part luxury writing instrument, which of course most of the writing instruments, luxury writing instruments that are very very highly priced, it is about something else. It is about the art. For example, I know many pens that are Urushi creations that features uh, very, very um, detailed images on them. Uh, and this one is, as you've seen, full of details. We have a lot of techniques. Each and individual pen is made out of uh, sterling silver and all of the parts are finished by hand, assembled by hand. I don't think there are 121 pants ready at Monte Grappa at this time. Probably if you are looking for such a writing instrument, you need to place down an order. The order will be sent from the retailer to the Monte Grappa factory 
and probably they will start creating your founder band based on that order. I am very, very happy and fortunate to have such a strong relationship with Montegrappa and I've asked for this writing instrument because I wanted to at least have the chance to see something like this in person. I don't think I will own one, maybe not at this point in my collection, but I have to admit I was pretty impressed when I first seen this founder band. Of course, this is something that probably it is not on your radar, but at least you had a chance to see it in details on our YouTube channel. And thanks to Montegrappa, it will be available for a limited time on the Penventure website. If you're interested, down below you will probably find a link or just email me. And if you want to have such a writing instrument in your fun band collection, just email me and we talk the details there. I think this is it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this kind of content and the chance of experiencing such a writing instrument. From my understanding, I have not seen one of them reviewed on any other YouTube channels. A big thank you goes out to the entire Monte Grappa team for making this video review possible. Of course, for all of you watching, we have a lot of writing instruments from Monte Grappa to the same caliber as this one coming for review soon. And if you want to support me doing content like this, subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking here and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more quality content from Penventure and myself, click on this video and enjoy. My name is Emi, another force. Thank you. Next video. Take care. Bye bye.